We're here at Frying Pan Farm Park to celebrate Juneteenth when the final enslaved African Americans learned of their freedom. Welcome to Frying Pan Farm Park. I'm happy to be here celebrating today the, the first holiday of this event. The real end to slavery where free men were allowed to, to go out and seek their own lives. Juneteenth commemorates the events that happened on June 19 in Galveston, Texas, when the final enslaved people learned of their freedom, that the Civil War was over. It was over two years after the Emancipation Proclamation, which declared all of them free, but they were still held in bondage for an additional two years. The, the fact that uh, Africans didn't hear about the fact that uh, they were free until a couple years after the Emancipation Proclamation, it represents a sense of truth in American history. We are going to be celebrating African-American contributions to what has shaped American society and culture as we know it. We're going to be looking at uh, food and their contributions of what types of food that they eat and how they prepared it uh, to influence how we dine today. My book, Bound to the Fire, How Virginia's Enslaved Cooks Helped Invent American Cuisine, highlights the stories of enslaved cooks in Virginia who were literally bound to the fire. They cooked the food that became uh, famous all over the world in the plantations like Stratford Hall, Monticello, Mount Vernon, and it was that food cooked by enslaved African and African Americans that became American food. We're going to be looking at the influence of African Americans on modern music, uh, music throughout history. African Americans uh, have impacted almost anything we call American music. There are the obvious genres of music where people uh, assume that African Americans have influence, and that is R&B and blues, jazz. But some of the lesser known facts is that uh, African Americans uh, had a strong influence, or actually created was called rock and roll. They had a very strong influence in folk music, as well as uh, bluegrass, which some people might not think about, but the banjo, which is an African instrument, even the word banjo is an African word, uh, plays very heavily in bluegrass music. And African Americans were kind of like the minstrels that started even the style of music that's called uh, bluegrass. So African Americans have had an influence on pretty much most of what we call American music. Juneteenth is important because it is the end of what started on July 4th, 1776. Juneteenth marks the moment when everyone in this country was free. Juneteenth is very important. It's very important to the African American community, but overall it's more important to the progress of what we've done here in the United States, the, the, the true melting pot of any nation on the face of the earth.